So last time we ended with verse number 175. <clears throat> so if it sounds like I have a bonbon in the mouth, it is like this. Sorry, it's just like having something. Mm -hmm. I need this for top. So don't mind. So bakya tila charilala te uchvala, rema vai chityarat nari daya tarala. The tilak of good fortune is on her beautiful broad forehead. Her various loving affairs are a gem. And the heart is the locket. The tilak of good fortune is on her beautiful broad forehead. Her various loving affairs are a gem. And the heart is the lock. So we know that only one person is able mm. to open this lock. On my fear, not my, no, no, my, no, no, light. Yeah, I guess maybe also a picture when his picture will not be clear. Picture will not be. That's why I switched to it. Okay. Okay. Text 177. Matya Vayasa Sakit Skande Karanyasa Krishna Lila Manovriti Saki Asha Kasha. Sri Mati Radharani's gopi friends are her mental activities which are concentrated on the pastimes of Sri Krishna. Okay. Sri Mati Radharani's gopi friends are her mental activities which are concentrated on the pastimes of Sri Krishna. Wow. So if we have activities, they are not personified, mental activities, but Radharani's mental activities are actually personified. This is actually a very nice picture. Radharani, their expansion <coughs> is complete. Gopi Bhav cannot come without soul consciousness. Soul consciousness is Gopi Bhav. It is not far come, but soul come. Then the soul can see the super soul. That super soul seeing is a Gopi Bhav. Then we come out from the bodily identification to the spiritual path. 
for ready to fly. This is our condition, material condition, material body, thinking the past time. And the gopis think from a spiritual platform that is soul platform. And anything thing with the, my body, I like to enjoy the senses. When I will like to see from the soul, uh, this so body has no soul has no body. So the gopis are the expansion uh, is a soul. That is gopi. And gopi become female. This soul become female because he moves for the super soul. But the mercy of Radha Rani, she gave the form and relation. So when she gave the form, so the mental activities of Radha Rani, he liked only Krishna. Friend of Radhika, but liked Krishna because of the super soul. This is Gopi. In pure condition, Gopi always comes. It is not by identification of body and somebody will become Gopi now. Then is Sahajya. Then we want to think from the bodily consciousness past time, then I will be offensive. So past time people don't want to listen because they identify their body too much. But who want to be in soul consciousness, they will show sure develop taste in that. Is a mental? What is mental calculation of the Radharani mind? It's a mental activity. Activities, activities of the mind of Radharani for the Krishna. So then this nature comes to that. <coughs> because he see that my friend is also activity with Krishna. They copy it. So the spiritual body is intense, <coughs> intense feeling. Pure feeling. Divine feeling and intense. Or pure, intense feeling. Yes. So her wishes to make Krishna happy are so intense that even some are taking the form of a gopi. Right. Intense feeling, and they are actually just made to concent concentrate on Sri Krishna's pastimes. Yeah. So we can understand. Yes. So one of the also maybe Bhavani, I was thinking that these are all desires to please Krishna. Can they become persons? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is also very high class. But up to Krishna. She keeps her hand on the shoulder of a friend who represents you. Human? Youth. Youth. Krishna. Or Radha. She keeps her hand on the shoulder of a friend mm -hmm. who represents youth. Radhika. Yes. So, shoulder in hand, 
means what you do, she wants to do. Equally. Equally. Friendly. She behaves with you friendly. When the two friends walk, they keep soldier in other hands and other person. So Radhika, she is your friend and at the same time, she do what you are doing. This is Gopi. We starting, we start with this. This is the one bhav. Sri Text 178. Ni Janga Saura Bahala Ye Garva Payanka Sate Vasi Ache Sata Chinti Krishna Sangha. Srimati Radharani's bedstead is right itself. And it is situated in the abode of her bodily aroma. Wow. Shrimati Radharani's bedstead is right itself. And it is situated in the abode of her bodily aroma. Why is it pride good? Because Krishna is mine. The band is a pride. Krishna is mine. <laughs> And you can see it. They see Krishna. If I am in Sadak, they are body conscious, we cannot see. This is the difference. <laughs> Looking is good or not? Then how I can look Krishna in this life when we improve our please you go here because there are four persons. Hmm? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shri Mati Radharani's bedstead is bright itself, and it is situated in the abode of her bodily aroma. No, no, no. You should come here. Yeah, come here. Mm. Yeah. Rather. So the abode of her bodily aroma. It look aroma milk. Yes. Very similar. Flavor is same. Yes. <clears throat> Nature is same. Beauty is same. Everything is very beautiful. <coughs> Because she got the female body of Radha Rani give mercy, but go pure. Uh, um, <laughs> when the body 
wants to go to con- into soul consciousness after realizing that soul consciousness is important. To know my soul. She is always seated there thinking of Krishna's association. Text 179. Krishna Nama Guna Yasha Avatam Shakara Krishna Nama Guna Yasha Rava Havam Vajan. Srimati Radharani's earrings are the name, the fame. And qualities of Lord Krishna. The glories of Lord Krishna's name, fame, and qualities are always inundating her speech. Yes. The glories of Lord Krishna's name, fame, and qualities are always inundating her speech. So her earrings are the name, fame, and qualities of Lord Krishna because she will not hear anything else. She likes. Krishna name. She loves to hear it again and again. She don't like friend name much. Radha name. Who is that? Bull is Krishna. So she just hears the name, fame, and qualities of Krishna, and if she is speaking something, the glories of Lord Krishna's name, fame, and qualities are always the top. Text 180. So, Karaya Shyama Rasa Madhupan Nirantara Purnakare Krishnera Sarvakama. Srimati Radharani induces Krishna to drink the honey of the conjugal relationship. Srimati Radharani induces Krishna to drink the honey of the conjugal relationship. She is therefore engaged in satisfying all the lusty desires of Krishna. As we know, these lusty desires mm. are not in connection with any material mm. understanding. Mm. 
this last month, pure, completely pure, selfless, highest transcendent love. We can never compare to anything material. Induces means or Krishna last is that what is the soul last? Not material last like like us. <laughs> this is not material life. This is a spiritual lust. That's a Govardhan. That I explained. Soul is the spiritual sense. It's not body. No, I didn't see that. Way. Soul is not a material like our body. In the last text, it is clearly described. Vishnera Vishuddha Prayam. Vishuddha. Vishuddha Prayam. Vishnera Vishuddha Prayam Ratnera Akhara Anupama. Gunakana Purna Kaliba. We should have prayed of pure transcendental love. We should have prayed like a valuable jewel. Srimati Radharani is a mind filled. Uh, with valuable tune of run. love for Krishna. Run. So hold yeah. mind. I need. You will not you need. just find need. one or two gems. It's full. And her love is so pure. We should have rain. Her transcendental body is complete. Ah, this is the picture. Gopi has a transcendental body. Her transcendental body is complete with unparalleled spiritual qualities. One. Her transcendental body is complete with unparalleled spiritual qualities. If you not see the soul, means outer body, not inside this body, then it will be clear. First, you have to see the details of this. This is the This is the basic for the spirituality. <coughs> this, this is spirituality. This is the spirituality. Could you explain more? Abhideha. Uh -huh. Abhi means what you are practicing out of that. Out of the body. Out of the body. What you are practicing in body is not work. It's a material work. Out of body, what we practice, this is start A. That is Gopiba. 
फीमेल बॉडी का देन अगेन वी कम बैक टू बॉडी लिटिल मिस्टेक इट विल कम बैक अगेन वी गो ट्राई टू गो अप देन डाउन अप एंड डाउन अप एंड डाउन दिस प्रैक्टिस विल गो अप but when you one time you realize this then you decide this is good or not then you want to stay there is that very test this is how it happens and so we need a drop of this mm. to taste so gone yes we have to try to fix it if it is beautiful that is your garden home mm. bhagavad gita 12th chapter go de devotion of service mm. i will bless but reason has to unclear then avideha all mantras are this sambandha avideha and prayoge all mantra diksha mantra <laughs> even maha mantra is this sambandha avideha and prayoge depending on which level you see If I know start some bandha, I will die. It will not come. And I will die. I will not come. Prayer will not come. Some bandha is the best important thing. Some bandha is the most important. So we first has to develop some bandha with Krishna, because you can see from soul consciousness relation of super soul. You can feel it. You can understand. Then super soul, when we go to Krishna, because I love you. i want to be with you i dance with you then krishna open the door krishna open the door yes i will give you all your wishes and more and more from me but you cannot get me If you want to be with me, then go to Radha Radha Radha. Then from that eyes you have to feel me. From her heart you have to feel me. From that you have to see me. When we go to Radha Radha. by mercy of krishna when i sign it then then i say that bhagavad gita that slow but steady realization starts we find it second time huh that second time we find but it but as to here now we have no my interest radha's love This is the prem prayer. Then we stay permanently with him. Yeah, in that process, Chaitanya Tamrita says, "Gopi, go, go on." So now there comes a quotation from Govinda <coughs> Lila Mrita. You see, without Gopi Bhav coming, 
विदाउट सोल कॉन्सियसनेस का में यू कैन नॉट टच दिस गोविंद लेला एंड हु रीड दिस बुक दे ऑल बिकम द पुट दिस इज रियली व्हाट यू से बारिका इज फीडिंग her main servants by her breast how can we meditate on the bodily consciousness about this topic this is only lusty desires to come we have to come on the level of a maid servant that then it is the spirit so then it's the kind of that the point these are the steps i don't know why they don't say this I have no idea. They are not uh, educated. <laughs> <laughs> Then how the jiva will suffer and die? Nothing is going to achieve. Coming is useless and going is useless. And then we go to the animal body. Only a part. Then, what is the meaning of doing anything? If one asks. about the origin of love of krishna the answer is that the origin is in shrimati radharani alone wow see that ichaitanya yes but that's now a quotation from govinda lilamrita in the chaitanya charitamrita it's a quotation If one asks about the origin when of his love, book is mentioned, when Gopi out comes that because he mm-hmm. is not in the book of Ram's kingdom. So, if one asks about the origin of love of Krishna, the answer is that the origin is in Sri Mati Radharani alone. So, I mean. Sri Lanka, and it's no. Please, I will say they will explain this quotation. They will not understand, and they will not understand. This is quotation. Who knows details? They will explain. If you can say this, why this line alone? Where is Krishna gone? You have to explain this, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Make interesting or take share from others. Yeah, go on. So, actually, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, it's also said that Radharani is also Sarva Lakshmi. So Sarva Lakshmi means that actually she is possessing all good qualities. She is giving him his good qualities. She is the source. So if we speak about, he is the most beautiful. He is the most well-known person. He is the richest. He whatever he is, actually, this is coming from Radharani. This is the source. So we can understand that without Radharani, Krishna is not that sweet. How we can sing Madhuram without Radharani? You may think about why we think here about the sweetness of the Lord, <laughs> because we know where the source is. 
where it's coming from. So this is actually also a glorification of Radharani. Although we sing about the sweetness of the Lord, but actually, actually we sing about the sweetness of Radharani because she is the source of all sweetness of Krishna. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And one thing, if you are, want to know about the Radharani, why only she is there? She is a Bhakti Vano Thakur song, Radha Bhajana Mati Nahita. Second thing, you want to know about Radha, you have to see Radha Kripakata, how Lakshmi, Saraswati, Indrani, and others, they are the expansion of Radha. <coughs> <coughs> ah, who is uh, Alladini Shakti and Antaranga Shakti and who is Bhagaranga Shakti? How much you can explain? Then they will say, why this line is there? So, we know that Antaranga Shakti is the inner potency of the Lord. Ladini Shakti is the main part and is not just giving all pleasure. <laughs> but has actually even more uh, devices, say, pieces or devices, parts. parts. So actually, the, the love of Radharani is so intense that she doesn't want to know him alone for even a moment. Wherever he goes, whatever he does, whatever is his wish, may it directly with her or somewhere else. And he goes out of Vrindavan. So Radharani wants to be sure that actually everywhere she can take care of him. Everywhere. And she has the capacity to go in different uh, parts of uh, Shakti with him, wherever he goes. So Radharani is every Lakshmi, every Lakshmi Devi, wherever. They are Unlimited Lakshmi Devis, unlimited. All her expansions. So you may see the Lord is actually Himself spreading in so many different kind of forms. Narayan forms. So many different. He's going to Dwarka, he's going to different places. Wherever he goes, Radharani is expanding herself also. And going with him in that form which always fits exactly on that. So he is never alone. But it even goes further. She wants to serve him in love everywhere, in every moment. So she is even coming to the point that she herself is coming from Antaranga Shakti actually outside Vahiranga <coughs> Shakti. That means like his, his bedstead, his cup he's drinking from, or the clothes he wears, or whatever you can imagine what would be his needs are already there 
perfectly arranged and always ready to serve. All this, it's unlimited. No one can describe it fully. But to get an idea, she is expanding in everything which is needed for, for the seva. So in any kind of forms. So the love is, is expanding in, in, in so many different ways. And we were touching this actually when we were reading about uh, Nityananda and uh, Nityananda's forms, vision forms. And then we could see that actually everything is just an expanding of her love. So when we speak about this, uh, I lost the name, uh, uh, opulence. Yeah. When we speak about opulence, then we may think, yes, this is opulence because there's this is uh, a god. Yes. And actually, it's it's the opulence of Bhagavan's love. <laughs> See quotation I will. <coughs> Only this you explain. Why she is alone? One is a ten, eleven, nine, eleven. Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada. Second is a <coughs> Bhakti will not talk of song. And third Radha Kripa. Radha Kripa. But if you understand Bhakti will not talk of song. Is more expanded there. It will work. And Bhagavad Gita 9 11. Could you explain a little bit about the second one? Gada, Gada, Bajana, no, that's uh, really, you can, uh, we, we have to read yes. some song book. Trinity. Yes, I agree. I'm not talking <laughs> this Mahajan's work. How if he's alone, you have to, without giving quotation of my mind, is how I will explain. Understand this. I will suggest you read first Bhagavad Gita 9 11. That was you say me 9 11. How uh, other control to other, that they become God. Brahma is controlled by Vishnu. So Vishnu is higher God. Vishnu is controlled by is Prabhupada right? Prabhupada explaining this. So they are God. Shall I be here? Sure. Okay, nine eleven. <clears throat> who would deride me? Yeah, yes. The first thing is fool. 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 Yeah. 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 They do not know my transcendental nature as supreme Lord of all the Who cannot understand? 
transcendental nations of the Lord. He will explain. You will have to understand. Yeah. There are many Ishwaras, controllers, and one appears greater than another. In the ordinary management of affairs in the material world, we find some official or director, and above him there is a secretary, and above him a minister, and above him a president. Each of them is a controller. But one is controlled by another. In the Brahma Sanskrit, it is said that Krishna is a supreme controller. There are many controllers and doubtfully both in the material and spiritual world, but Krishna is supreme controller. Ishwara Parama and his body is Satchitana, non material. Should I read more? Why not? It's not clear. Okay. Material body cannot perform the wonderful acts described in previous verse. His body is eternal, spiritual, and full of knowledge. These are the qualities of the soul. No. Also. Also, he is not a common man. The foolish deride him and consider him to be a man. His body is called here Manushi because he is acting just like a man. A friend of Arjuna. A politician involved in the battle of Kurukshetra. In so many ways, he is acting just like ordinary man. But actually, his body is Satchitananda, eternally bliss and knowledge absolute. This is confirmed in the Vedic language also. Satchidananda Rupaya Krishna. I offer my obeisance unto the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna, who is the eternal blissful form of knowledge. Gopara Tapani Ipanisha. There are other descriptions in the Vedic language also. Other descriptions in the Vedic language. Kan e Govinda. You are Govinda. The pleasure of senses and the calm. Sachi Dananda Vigraha. And your home is transcendent and full of knowledge, grace, and attention. Despite the transcendent qualities of Lord Krishna's body, it's full of grace and knowledge. There are many so called scholars and commentators of Bhagavad Gita. Who derived Krishna as an ordinary man? The scholar may be born 
An extraordinary man, due to his previous good work. But this conception of Sri Krishna is due to poor fund of knowledge. <laughs> Therefore, he is called the Muda. For only foolish person consider Krishna to be an ordinary human being. The foolish consider Krishna an ordinary man, being, because they don't know the confidential activity of Supreme Lord and his different energies. <coughs> so, my cancer will not accept Krishna than this. And, and he saw him. He wasn't. Same time, no? but he cannot accept this. So he's a bully. has to die. They don't know that Krishna's body is a symbol of complete knowledge and bliss. That he is the proprietor of everything that be, and that he can award liberation to anyone. Because they don't know that Krishna has so many transcendental qualifications. They deride him. No, do they know? That appearance of the Supreme Pansai to go to head in this material world is a manifestation of his internal energy. You see, wow. one line, all the subject is gone. But what we practice? <coughs> Krishna. Because the, this not understand. Okay. All this slok is with the Radha. So all this slok is screened up by the line. What is read the same line again? No, they don't know no. that no. appearance of supreme personality of Godhead in this material world. Is a manifestation of his internal energy. Wow. Sanctified ways. That's what we read yesterday. And and then read more. So he is master of material energy. As has been explained in several places, Mama Maya Durate. He claimed that material energy, also very powerful, is under his control. And whoever surrenders unto him can get out of the control of this material energy. This is here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Without his under control, he cannot get out from material no, energy. No, no, no. You will never reach to the soul conscious. And the gopi bhav will not come. <laughs> and now it's clear why we have to give up our own concepts. Like veganism makes <clears throat> kind of religion out of this. Like other concepts, because he is the controller, but we like to be the controller. Then we create this craziness. This uh, our own concept. It's not Krishna's concept. He is the concept. We don't accept it. Like Arjuna also like don't like accept his role as a fighter in the Kurukshetra. 
Um, <laughs> Krishna explained it very nicely. <laughs> No, Krishna said, then he do. Yeah. He don't want to do. Yeah, right. Then he is not doing. Yeah. Ah, go on. He is not in here. And you gap something. That is wrong. You have to go on. Go on. No, you leave some part. Not now. You what you are reading, read then I will set to read again. If a soul surrender to Krishna can get out of this sleep. Yes, soul surrender. Body not surrender. Our body surrender. And we don't surrender body also to Krishna. Guru say Guru is my God. No Guru teachers to surrender to Krishna. Guru Dev surrender. So that's the surrender. That's what we have. They don't know their soul, how they will surrender. They don't know their soul, how they will surrender. Yeah. They don't know who goes surrender. And they don't know their soul, so they say surrender to me. Body to my body. These are material goods. Okay. Again, if a soul surrendered to Krishna, can get out of the influence of material. Energy. Then how can the Supreme Lord who conduce the creation, maintenance, annihilation of the whole cosmic nature have a material body like this? So this conception of Krishna is complete foolish. Yeah. Foolish person, however, cannot Conceive that the, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. No, However, a foolish person can, however, cannot conceive that the super, uh, Personality of Godhead, Krishna, appearing just like an ordinary man, can be the controller of all the atom and the gigantic manifest manifestation of the universe. Gigantic, big form of the universe. The biggest and the minutest are beyond their conception. So they cannot imagine that the form like that of a human being can simultaneously control the infinite and the minute. Small, small. Yeah. Actually, although he is controlling the infinite and the finite, he is apart from all this manifestation. It is clearly stated concerning his yoga Aishwaryam. His inconceivable transcendental energy that can control the infinite and finite simultaneously. And that he can remain aloof from them. <coughs> also, the foolish cannot imagine how Krishna, who appears just like human beings, can control the infinite and finite, those who are pure devotees accept it. 
y eso es lo que nos quedan dos dos puntos para completar eso. Who they know that Krishna is the three parts right to be God? Porque ellos entienden que Krishna es la superficie. Therefore, they completely surrender unto him and engage in Krishna consciousness, devotional service of the Lord. There are many controversies between the impersonalist and the personalist about the Lord appearance as a human being. Why? Go on, leave it that. No, no. But if we consult Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, the authoritative takes for understanding the science of Krishna. Then we can understand that Krishna is supreme translated Godhead. He is not an ordinary man. Although he appears on this earth as an ordinary human. In Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, first chapter, for the sage headed by Shonaka inquired about the activity of Krishna, they said, Lord Sri Krishna, Supreme Person of the Godhead. Along with Bararam, pray like human being. So must he perform the many superhuman superhuman acts. Magatam one one thing. The Lord's appearance as a man bewildered be the foolish. No human being could perform the wonderful act that Krishna performed while he was present on this earth. When Krishna appeared before his father and mother, Vasudeva and Devaki, he appeared with four hands and four hands. But after the prayer of the parents, he transformed himself into an ordinary child. As stated in the Bhagavatam 10, 346, <laughs> He became just like ordinary child, an ordinary human being. Now here, again, it is indicated that Lord appearance as ordinary human being is one of the future of his transcendence but in the eleventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita, also it is stated, Arjuna prayed to see Krishna's form of four hands. After revealing, revealing this form, Krishna, <laughs> poem petitioned by Arjuna again assumed his original human-like form. Wow. Original. This is his original. <laughs> These different features of the Supreme Lord are certainly not those of ordinary human beings. <laughs> no understand. What is the Some of those who deny Krishna and who are infected with the Maya body philosophy quote the following verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 3.29.21 to prove 
that Krishna is just an ordinary man. Ahan Sarudeshu Uteshu Buddha Tomaba Stika Sada. The Supreme is present in every living being. One should better take note this particular verse from the Vaishnava Acharya, like Jiva Goswami and Vishwanatha Chakravarta. Instead of following the interpretation of unauthorized person who derived Krishna. Mm -hmm. Jiva Goswami commenting on this verse said that Krishna is plenary expansion as Paramatma is situated in the moving, the non-moving entity as su super soul. So any neophyte devotee who simply gives his attention to the Aricha Murti, the form of the Supreme Lord in the temple, and does not respect other living entity is useless <laughs> worshiping the form of the Lord in the temple. Yeah, and underline this, Maharaj. Yes. What mistake we do? Yes. <laughs> There are three kinds of devotee of the Lord, and the neophyte is in the lowest stage. The neophyte devotee gives more attention to the deity in the temple <laughs> than to other devotees. So, Vishwanatha Chakravarti Thakur warns that this sort of mentality should be corrected. A devotee should see that because Krishna is present in everyone's heart as Paramatma, yeah. everybody in the embodiment or a temple of the Supreme Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So as one offer respect to the temple of the Lord, we should similarly properly respect each and everybody in which the Paramatma dwells. Everybody should therefore be given proper respect and should not be neglected. There are also many impersonalists who derive temple worship. They said that since God is everywhere, <laughs> why should one distract himself to temple worship? <clears throat> but if God is everywhere, <laughs> is he not in the temple or in the deity? <laughs> All the personalists and impersonalists will fight with one another perpetually. The perfect, a perfect devotee in Krishna consciousness knows that all the Krishna is supreme personality is all pervading. What? 
he is all pervading. Ah, why do eyes? Why do go in this section? Avoid. As confirmed in the Brahma Sanchita. Also, the personal abode is Goroka Vrindava. And he is always stay there by his different manifestation of energy, by his plenary expansion. He is present everywhere in all parts of the material spiritual creation. So I skip a little bit first part of this sentence. No, no, no. I can, uh, again. Okay. From the other explanation of the previous verse in this chapter, it is clear that the Supreme Personality of Godhead, although appearing like a human being, is not a common man. The personality of Godhead who conduct the creation, maintenance, and annihilation of the complete cosmic manifestation cannot be a human being. <laughs> Yet there are many foolish men who consider Krishna to be merely a powerful man and nothing more. Actually, his original personality, Godhead, as confirmed in the Brahma Sanchita, Ishwara Parama Krishna. He is the Supreme Lord. The thing is this who controlled Krishna? That was the point. Ah. You, you take, you know, explain that. Krishna is controlled by what? Internal, his internal energy, manifestation, everything. And there was many God who is controlled by a senior. Hmm. Prabhupada said that this God is controlled by this, this God is controlled by this, this God is controlled. So Krishna is also in control of his eternal and by eternal. So who is controller of Krishna is Radha. Hmm. Revolution. Huh? Revolution. Again, revolution. So she is the so much thing is the one. Radhika is the one. I show you. Now one song I show you. Read and English read. Similarly, we cannot accept Madhava separate from Radha. One who worships only Madhava is ignorant 
my God, foolish for one And one who disrespects Sri Radha is simply conceited. Conceited. Illusion. An illusion. <laughs> Do not ever associate with such persons <laughs> if your heart longs for the loving slavefulness of Raja Rasa. Quite <laughs> great. <laughs> Every day you sing the song of Bhakti Vinod. You have to believe it. Yeah, we have to believe it. Go on. If you consider yourself to be the maid servant of Shimadi Adhika, then very quickly <laughs> you will attain <laughs> Krishna of Goku. <laughs> we know that Brahma, Shiva Narada, the personified Vedas, <laughs> and Narayana of Lakshmi Devi, or Narayani, Lakshmi Devi, all worship the dust of Srimati Radhika's lotus. The revealed scriptures declare that Uma, Rama, Satya, Sachi, Chandravali, and Rupini are all Radha's expansions. Bhakti Vinod Thakur begs at the lotus feet of those devotees whose wealth is the service of Sri Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? That if um, if Radha is the ultimate goal, why they teach us always to pray or uh, worship first Krishna? And then the ultimate goal is God. Because we are living in body cancers. In body link identification, we are male. We want to enjoy. You cannot go to Radha to female massaging. To be taking, giving bath without work. Your very mind is polluted this material body. You cannot do the personal service of female. <laughs> So, okay, we are, we're teaching us wrong from the beginning. No, not no, teaching no. wrong. This is right. This is correct. The teacher, Krishna is a super soul. How I will reach to soul? Maria Magdalena. You know the story of my name, Maria Matalini. Listen, that's what I want to say. Ask John asked to Maria Magdalena. You are very close to Jesus. I doubt what is sin. People talk about sin. Oh, then she says, one day Jesus come to my 
them. And I asked the same question to him. And he answered, material thing cannot do sin. Table can do sin. When it mixed with the spiritual, then he takes sin. That my body is solely there. So material and spiritual is a combined. <coughs> then we take the sin. One dead body, <coughs> dead body is totally material. There is no soul. So he can do take sin. But the soul and his material body <coughs> take can sin because it is a combined. Then, what is sin? He says the forgetness of the soul is the sin. Because then I forget my Savior. So, Krishna is very important. Till I nourish the soul, I cannot serve Radha. Then we are not qualified to go in the service of Radha. We cannot love in exchange, we can love goddess is Radha. Real love comes not with sense enjoyment. It is sex. Love is different word. Love is unconditional. Exchange is love. That is divine word and divine way of moving. I feel that I lost a lot, a lot of time of my life to start to worship Krishna, 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 and Krishna. Because I now try to know my soul. And so forth. This is my mistake. And this environment. If I not know the soul, I know practice the soul consciousness and I know see the Savior, Suparma, wasting my time. Religious practice will never bring you. Religious practice means pound, pound. What water not flow. That is religious practice. And where the water flows, that's a river. If the flow is not there in the water, you can say it's a pond. And when the flow is there in water, is a river. What is flowing? Higher thing flowing. More higher and more higher and more higher. That is the spiritual. Knowing the new thing from body code is a new subject. So the super soul is new subject. And to how love soul 
to the super soul, Krishna. Then Krishna said, no, no, no. You cannot know to love. You have to, I, I accept only her love. You have to develop nature of Radha and the feeling of Radha and so much giving qualities of Radha. Then we go to Radha. Is impossible. Eh? Our love is impossible to do. Madhanakya Mahabhava, highest love. So I want to be a <coughs> to be with her. And then they, she said, You need to bhav last. What is the meaning of Bhavala Sati explained? Explain Bhavala Anyone who can do. <coughs> so, Papa is feeling Urasa is like a <coughs> very high feeling. Can you say, like a highest feeling? So, Radha's feeling is Madanakya Mahabha. Means greatest feeling. Like madness of love for Krishna. So, who can, who can understand? Who can know that feeling? That's very kind of shadow. Closest made servant. Like King Kari Manjari of Sri Radha. <coughs> Only Radha Dash could, could see, could know, could feel, could serve it. So this Manjari Baba is called Baba Rasa. That this kind of we say highest feeling. This is maybe yes, and this is the thing. Yes, and of course. Aula Sati means I what is my goal? <coughs> Sambandha, relation, intimate relation. Avideha to know my soul and Pariyojana. Then is a river flowing, and this river go to the ocean. This a river flowing is not stopping. When I move from the Krishna to fulfill the desire to know soul. This movement is the flow. And when we love Krishna and believe Krishna, assigning Krishna, then Krishna becomes happy and it's a goal to learn there. This only she can teach you. I don't know. I'm a foreigner for that. So this is the grace of Krishna, that Krishna devotion is important. So there was no waste time. No, but it is become by the previous sanskara, it, you are take, giving time. You have still some, not less sanskara, you will never understand this after a hundred times listening. Because previous sanskara is not very dirty. You are very many blockages are there. When you understand the prema is the goal, prema is the pariyojan of the life. Be in loving relation 
is the goal of life. Then you will practice this. Prem is the prayer. And if this prayer will come after Abhidhya, knowing yourself. <coughs> you free from. You don't want one more garden home. You have a city flat, but make one garden home. Knowing new thing is your garden house. You can stay there. But no, I am not interested. <laughs> I want to be in sexual and ego life. <laughs> Good. Independent. Independent also. Tabian. Okay, do that. Funny life, religious practice. This is found life. This is the found. Stingy water, dirty water. Nobody drinks that found in smart. They have to go to fill from the far from river. <laughs> then this river can go to ocean. And what is the beauty of Pusha? Waves are the beauty. That is Radhana and Krishna. Krishna is blue and the waves are not blue. <laughs> see that? Yeah, it's, when you see the ocean is blue, <laughs> but when you see the waves are not blue. Show me the blue waves, separate, but one. That is the waves and ocean. That is Radha and It's divine in the temple is a very basic thing. But in the all living beings, then you start really understanding the value of Krishna. And it's divine love. That love is the only thing who can show you <coughs> to the God. And it's all Mahajan said that. Oh. But Chaitanya say more higher one. Love is the way, and love is the goal of that is love. Goal of that is. More. Chaitanya Chaitanya is what writing? <laughs> On the Raj, read, you have a book. <laughs> if one asks about the origin of love of Krishna, the answer is that the origin is in Srimati Radharani alone. That is not. Before that, 
original she is alone she alone is the she is alone or she is the only this this is a very very special book <coughs> when after reading Vilas Kusumanjali, my desire happened to read Chaitanya Chaitanya. You can imagine. Then I can understand this book. <coughs> you are. Sorry. I Who is the most dear friend of Krishna? <laughs> the answer again is Srimati Radharani alone. No one else. You see that line? <laughs> no one else? No one has. No one has. <laughs> no one has. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most dear friend of Krishna? The answer again is <laughs> Srimati Radharani alone, no one else. <laughs> 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 no one else. <laughs> this is Prabhupada's words. Chaitanya Chaitanya's conclusion means incomplete knowledge if I do not know this. But just to understand, we will be able to find out this not so easy. This is all books read and then Buddhan will And when you are pure chit, put the chit, your heart will be pure. Then you will accept, you will listen a hundred times. And previous Sukriti is there in previous life, good karma. Then you will try to realize it. And you start living in this. This is the goal. That our goal is to be always loving. And who is not in loving situations, he is never successful anywhere. <laughs> he has to suffer. 
<laughs> he has no service mood and not in service way. Their life is useless. They are foolish. No benefit is happening to him and he cannot fire persons. <coughs> but we have to accept that the whole world is teaching different and only a few understand this. Why not their teaching? Because they don't understand. They don't understand. <laughs> but it's not easy, no? Actually, in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, in the very beginning, the wise men are saying, this topic in Srimad Bhagavatam is not, not, not <laughs> Dharma, Artha, Shama, Moksha. Not what they are doing, Dharma. <laughs> Artha, Kama, Mukha. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. That means you're acting in religion that you actually get benefit from it. Because who is serving Krishna usually wants to have something of his good qualities fame and money and, you know, intelligence and beauty and this. So you are religious with one hand open. <laughs> I'm serving you. <laughs> you have to give me. Yes. Yeah. Amazon. Order and supply. <laughs> I must know. <laughs> you order and you will be supplied. Do not, uh, uh, I order you and not supply me, I will change the company. <laughs> There's the company I will change, I know, many companies have ideas. <laughs> I will change to different God. <laughs> Bhagatam Because this is the basic. Okay, <coughs> This is the <coughs> This is the basic to know your soul. <coughs> That's a Gopi Bhava. If I don't know myself that I'm a soul, then what time wasting time? He's wasting time. Nothing else more. <laughs> This is Kaitam. What is that? Chicken Kaitam. Chicken. Then I become vegan. I become cow protector. <laughs> animal animal <laughs> protector. Yeah, I, I want to uh, save the world. Yeah. Yes, that's a trap. We want to. This is a trap. The trap. You want to do the best? Because I want to be killed. Mm -hmm. Control. <coughs> But this is so Guru is the goal. Because Krishna is nowhere. And even Krishna, who is the Guru of Arjuna, is telling, because you're my friend, I was explaining all the yoga paths, but now I will tell you secrets, because you are my friend, because we have relation. Intimate relation. And then Sarva Dharma Parichacha, give up all this Dharma, Dharma. 
all these religious, all these social affairs, everything. Just give up. And mom, she come Sharanam. Take shelter by my one. By my one, who is my one of Krishna? <laughs> so even Krishna is giving up his position as guru and saying here take shelter I want I, I am not the final guru <coughs> and I'm not the go. <laughs> yes, I, I should like to say something. You know, then we understand. You know, let's say because uh, 18 chapter uh, 65, this is a uh, Oh, you should become my devotee, worship me, and you know, obey me like that. And then, Sarvadharma. So usually we are thinking, why this, 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 you know, maybe opposite, you know, opposite is much better. But the Gaurabhani was saying, we understand at first, you know, worship Krishna. Then after that, Yes, surrender and my one, my echo. Then you have to, you gave up your material identification. If you surrender what Gurudev said to the soul, before you cannot surrender to his one beloved one, otherwise, we become a big disturbance to her. Because we are in the material identification, mm. and there is no use of this. Mm. This is a. No? Yeah. We cannot be with the material body or material sense or material. In, in surrender to her. We have to change our. Surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the up. No, become bound. <laughs> That's a be careful with this nature. In this way, Krishna is actually protecting his love. The love is the flowing. If there is no love, no bound. <laughs> love cannot stay without flow. Mm. Love has to be in action. <laughs> if love is not moving, I love you, I love you, no love. Love has to be in action. You have to cook. You have to clean, you have to wash, you have to make with the nice pasta, nice salada, <laughs> nice uh, soup. <laughs> that is love. Huh? 